Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. And today we have Casey Demchak, who's a top award-winning copywriter. He's been writing persuasive marketing copy since 1995 for a broad range of things, healthcare services, authors, speakers, and coaches. He's written on breast implants, penile implants, spinal implants, and much more. He's the author of The Inside Secrets and also the author of How to Create Powerful Key Message Copy Platform. Casey, thanks for joining me. Great to be here, Jeremy. Casey, since it's Inspired Insider, I always ask, tell me about your lowest moment and then how you you pushed forward. You know, I'd say my lowest moment was a few years ago. My, I, I was really focused on just medical device, and my business was just kind of sliding back. And, and I wasn't, and I realized, well, I'm I'm not enjoying it as much. You know, I'm still real good at it, but it was just seemed too. There's got to be more. You know, I've been writing for a lot of years, and that's when I thought, God, I, I've got kind of this neato, somewhat spiritual, metaphysical part of my life that. It'd be great if I can infuse that into my business. And that was so that was kind of the low point, but yeah. the low point made me look at myself and my business and realize what do you really want? You know, how do you want this to really go for the next because you know, I'm a writer. My thing is I'm not gonna ever retire, I'm gonna write till I die, basically, and try to make money at it. So I kind of let go, and that's when I got involved. I told you the story about a friend of mine who told me about this group, and I went and invested seven hundred dollars and got a forty thousand dollar return on it in one year. You know, I just kind of let go and set my intention. Mm-hmm. You know, it's the old story of if you if you want to go to New York City from where you're at, from Chicago or Denver, but you have to do the drive at night. Are you confident you can get there? course I can get there but with your headlights you can only see 200 feet ahead of you at a time right so you don't need to see 900 feet ahead of you you just know your destination and maybe you can only see 200 feet ahead of you at one time but you have some sort of positive faith and belief that the stepping stones will come be revealed to you as you go and a lot of times it happens in a way you never would have expected a lot of people can relate to how they met their girlfriend or their wife or their significant other. You know, they wanted to meet somebody. And maybe they reached the point where they just go, I give up. I'm looking here, I'm looking right. there, I'm this club, I'm doing that. I just give up. And then what happens two weeks later? In a way you never, you know, why don't you come to this get together? No, I don't feel like going. And something inside of you says, just go. And you go and you meet somebody who becomes a big part of your life. Mm-hmm. And it happens in a way you would never expect. There's just something to be said for setting that intention and letting go and not trying to figure out all the particulars, but, but but knowing that's your destination and let things be revealed to you as you go. And it's amazing how things can work out for you that way. Yeah. And on the flip side of that, Casey, what's been a proud moment? One of the proudest moments? Well, I got a bunch of them, man. I was I was an all star baseball player growing up and I won big writing awards in college and what position? I was a catcher. Think? Okay. I was Catcher, yeah. I, I see some balls behind you, actually. So that's yeah. No, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, I think it's out of frame. But my catcher's glove from high school is back there. So yeah, I used to catch cool. too. So when you come oh, to Chicago, okay. we will we'll play catch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I love baseball. I think they need to speed the game up. It used to be a little more fast paced. You know, now with all the pitching changes and everything, I think they need the batters with their batting gloves and basically doing a little so thing. Did you play in college too, or? I started playing in college and my catching hand just kept swelling up real bad. It was oh. the freakiest thing. But, you know, things happen for a reason. And I, I, when I grew up, I was playing baseball all day and writing at night. And so I, I was uh, starting varsity catcher for three years, went on American Legion traveling teams, and then I went to my local junior college. I'm only five foot eight, so I didn't get a big scholarship or the pros because I was, I was always starting. My ba- backups were always big guys, but... I had a hose down to second, could call the pitches and direct everything and block, blocking balls in the dirt. So I had to go to junior college and it's my hands just started swelling up and I had a, I couldn't catch anymore. Yeah. But that yeah. just when I said, well, now I, I was meant to be a writer, not a professional baseball player. Right. right. I just went for it, you know, from there. So baseball is a proud, what else? 
Baseball, I think, um, I think the, you know, that I, I set my sights on starting my own business and this is year 15 of working in this office, you know, and, and not having to drive to work every day. And, uh, you know, I'm very, I'm very, very, very disciplined, but I enjoy what I do. So I don't call it hard work as much as I call it joyful creation. Mm -hmm. you know? So I've been able to do that in, um, I have friends who are richer than me in the corporate world but are miserable and they'll call me up, you know, and they'll go, dude, how do I do what you do? <laughs> how do I, <laughs> what are you wearing right now? You know, you're just sitting there in your shorts and a t-shirt, aren't you? Yeah, I am. You know? and so, uh, and so I'm proud of that. I'm proud that when, uh, I can take a tech cat nap, you know, when I want, basically, you know, when I live with freedom, the, I have the freedom, you know, everybody in the corporate world, you reach that point sometimes at two o'clock where you go, if I could just lay under my desk for 20 minutes, I have so much more energy the rest of the day, but instead you have to sit there and prop yourself up for three hours. And so I can lay down and take a cat nap and come back. Love it. Energized and ready yeah. to go. Yeah. So who are some of your mentors and, and some of the best advice they've given you? I, you know, I God, so many people along the way. Um, when I worked uh, as a computer operator, one of my best friends Uncle owned the company. That's how I got to work there. And his name was uh, his name was John Rosso. And I remember him telling me once at work, I was talking about getting a job. I think I was talking about getting a job as a copywriter. And I go, I don't know, you know, if I if I have all enough writing samples or if I'm fully qualified. And he just said, Casey, you got to remember, man, whatever the qualifications are, you got them, you know. And then uh, when I was 11, I had this baseball coach. And um, I, I was an easygoing guy. I was a good hitter, but I was an easygoing guy because I'm a writer, you know. And I, I hit a double one day and drove in a couple runs with two outs. It was like a clutch two-out double. Slid into second base. Yeah, I get up. I'm pumped up. And when I come back to the dugout, he throws his arm around me. He goes, Casey, you know, you were pretty jacked up after you hit that double. I said, well, yeah, I drove in two runs, two outs, you know. He says, well, here's what I want you to do. When you get in the batter's box, I want you to feel like you've already hit the double and you'll hit more doubles. Hmm. I mean, that's like Tony Robbins stuff, you know? Right. I, th I think this guy ran a muffler shop or something. And he's like, <laughs> told me that. And every guy going, yeah. And so I did. It's like, I'd still walk up to the batter's box and I'd, and, and I'd just get energized. Like, I've already hit a double. Yeah. You know, and I went on a hitting spree and uh, it got to where I'd walk up to the batter's box and I'd think, why do they even make me bat? They had to just put me out on second base. <laughs> Because that's where I'm going. <laughs> so that was huge, you know. Yeah. So I just learned the mindset. The mindset. It, I think yeah. the mind. What I learned is, is from from people. The stuff I've picked up in bits and pieces from a lot of people is your mindset is the most important thing. Yeah. You know, it, it, it really is. It's like I teach young writers. You can learn how to write all these different marketing materials. You can learn all the marketing tactics you want, but if your mindset is one that is negative, yeah. you're really making things tough for yourself. But if you act as if you've already achieved success, it's much easier to achieve your goals. How would you feel? How would you breathe? How would you carry yourself when you've accomplished X? Yeah. Well, yeah. do that first, and it's going to make it easier to accomplish X. Yeah. That's why, you know, some of the most successful people we met, that guy's so cocky, he's in love with himself. Yeah, and they accomplish everything they want. I mean, you don't want to be a jerk, but... You know, you want to be, you want to like yourself. You know, you want to, you want to be proud of yourself and think of, we've all beat ourselves up in front of the mirror. How many people stand in front of the mirror talking for a minute a day about something they like about themselves? Not they much. They don't do it. No. Not much. But how much time do people spend beating the hell out of themselves? Quite a bit. Yeah. So, you know, I think st I've picked, I've learned stuff like that from spiritual mentors. I've learned from business people and just little little nuggets of stuff from just tons of people. Yeah. And it could be it could be from reading a Wayne Dyer book, Tony Robbins, it could be the guy running the muffler shop when I was yeah. 11. It's just it's just amazing if you listen the things you can pick up from famous people and um just anyone. Anyone. Yeah. Casey, I like they were, Yeah, it's almost like they were there to tell you that. Yeah. So are you reading anything interesting now or what are some of your favorite books? I read a lot of spiritual books. I also read financial books. I'm reading a really cool book right now by Tony Robbins called Money, 
master the game. Yeah, yeah. And it's and it's just a really good book. It's different than other financial books. It's in and my audible queue right now. It's in my audible it, queue, yeah. Yeah, it's a real eye opener. I, if you haven't listened to it, you'll really enjoy it. So I read a lot of uh, inspirational stuff, read copywriting stuff, you know. So I kind of scat around. It takes me a while to get through a book because I'm hard for me just to read one thing. Yeah, yeah. So Casey, I appreciate it. I want you to tell people where can they find out more. Where they sh- where should we point people towards? You can find out more about me at CaseyDemchak.com. And Demchak is D-E-M-C-H-A-K. But to make it real easy, if you're listening to this, CaseyCopy.com. If you go C-A-S-E-Y, Casey, copy, C-O-P-Y, CaseyCopy.com, that'll just flip over and redirect you to CaseyDemchak.com. So that's really that's the easiest way to find me is just type in CaseyCopy.com. And um, that'll take you there. To my uh, to my website, you can find out a lot about me. I put out free information every week. You can sign up for, and uh, you can find me on YouTube, Twitter, Casey. I've got I got the Casey Demchak on every platform, so it's kind of cool. I didn't have to. And, and there, I found one other Casey Demchak. It was a gal actually, huh. and she got married. Her name became Casey Demchak Bear. And um, now you've been uh, I, I got years. A, I, I yeah, I reached out on her on Facebook and she goes, Are you the dude who got the domain name? <laughs> <laughs> so I got it everywhere. Casey, my last question is um, I want you to talk about just for a second about the book. Uh, you've you have two books, The Inside Secrets. What should someone know about the Inside Secrets? Yeah, I've got two books on I've got a book called Essential Sales Writing Secrets, which is about oh God, nine years old now. But I've got two ebooks on Amazon. One's yeah. called Inside Secrets, one is called uh, how to develop key message copy platforms. That's not the exact title, but the book's yeah. about how to develop, which is a product copywriting product I invented. And um, Inside Secrets has a lot of good copywriting fundamentals, which is a lot of the stuff you've heard me talk about today is mm-hmm. covered in depth in that book. Um, key message copy platform, that is a product, a copywriting product I created, and it's the basis of a program I'm doing for AWAI right now. And uh, a key message copy platform essentially is a core central document, usually 10 to 15 pages, that has all the essential marketing messages about a particular product or service. Once you get that dialed in, you use that as a springboard for then writing your website copy, sales letters, lead gen brochures, all all your uh, print and digital marketing pieces. By working from a key message copy platform, your messaging is going to be very consistent and persistent. Mm -hmm across your marketing channels and that's essential because repetition builds reputation you know so a lot of a lot of times people they write every they kind of make up their marketing messaging as they go every time they write a new piece and that's not how you want to do it so the that particular ebook gets into that copywriting product and tells you exactly how to write key message copy platforms nice casey it's been an absolute pleasure thank you so much and we'll play catch next time we see each other Definitely, Jeremy. I really appreciate it uh, having me on the show and uh, love talking to you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.